Hey, what is going on everybody? It's Yunks. Today I'll be showing you guys a new method for hard mode Golgoroth. Even though it is not new, it is new to me. Other, A lot of other people are doing this right now. And I figured I would make a video once I found out about this method. Anyway guys, this method involves shooting only one of those balls at the top down at a time instead of doing all six. Like we normally, well like me and my fire team normally do, we usually shoot down six at a time. And you know, go into zigzag formation, have two people up top aggroing for the gaze, and yeah, that's the normal way, guys. That's like the basic way how to do it. But this method involves shooting only one ball at a time. And the reason for this is because a ton of cursed thrall spawn down in the pit. Once a second ball is shot down, a ton of cursed thrall starts spawning actually they start spawning after maybe like 15 seconds of the first ball being shot down I'm not exactly sure guys but anyway a ton of curse thralls start spawning it's significantly a lot more and another thing guys there's gonna be a debuff on one person in the fire team that goes down into the pit and it's gonna be called unstable light I think it's called unstable light anyway they're gonna have a timer I think it starts at five seconds and they're gonna have that time to get the hell out of there and away from their teammates because if they do not if they stay next to their teammates all their teammates are gonna die that are next to them but the person with the debuff will not die actually uh, really interesting but anyway guys you can see here we're shooting down that first ball and and Golroth does seem to shoot more of these fucking Axion darts and yeah and right there you can see five people are down there and you don't even have to worry about curse thrall so that means five people are doing damage right now because the curse thrall haven't even spawned yet because we're only doing one ball at a time and you can see the person with the debuff got the hell out of there first I don't know who it was and everybody else yep after one rotation after one ball once that timer is up everyone gets the fuck out of there I was aggroing so I called out when they had to get out around like three seconds anyway guys I'm aggroing and my buddy across a blit he is aggroing as well like whoever's more convenient to grab the gaze is gonna get it either me or a blit and everybody else is going down and doing damage and you could see here I literally do everything I do damage I do aggro here in this video you could see just follow my method follow my routine and you could also see I do get the unstable light as well in this video so you can literally see everything and this method it takes a little longer than normal than doing like the six um, ball method but it's really really worth it because it's just a lot less panicky I don't know how else to put it it's very it's very simple actually and it doesn't it doesn't make you panic I don't know what else to say guys it's really simple once you get the hang of it, it's pretty damn easy. So right there, you can see a blick got the the gaze because uh, he was he was more convenient to get it. And right here, we put up a weapons of light down in the pit, and we're shooting. And at this moment, everybody down in the pit is saying, "Who has unstable? Who has unstable?" And somebody called it out, and they got away. Anyway, guys, it's really not that difficult and you just have to pay attention to the unstable every single person has to pay attention to that unstable and yeah curse thrall will spawn uh, only a few spawn right after that little part that we did damage um, maybe like three or four will spawn and we're gonna take down those curse thrall you know i don't have footage of my buddy ocean actually is the one shooting the curse thrall right now down in the pit so next time we go to do damage we don't even have to worry about any curse thrall so yeah it's really really simple guys it's not that difficult and there will be ads obviously that spawn after each thing so this this method is a little more time consuming but you know it's okay and we just had a person die but we did not panic and we still got it done guys this method really really does work and on hard mode it makes hard mode a lot easier and I am so glad we found this method out we heard about this and yep and right here we're about to do more damage we're just waiting for everyone to grab their ammo a blit got the gaze so I'm going down my buddy ocean pop weapons of light we're gonna start doing damage I got my Irene it's a monster absolute monster and I got that bonus round in there that does massive damage as you can see it just proc did like over a hundred thousand damage 
and a blit called it out we got out of there the person with unstable light got out of there a little beforehand and we jump back up and we're gonna have to kill more ads same thing over and over guys but i'm gonna keep commentating i may be saying the same shit over and over but i'm gonna be here with you guys talking and yep we're gonna kill all these thrall then you know obviously the adept acolytes and all that shit will spawn and once um golgroth gets to a certain health taken will spawn i'm sure most of you guys know that but just follow my footage follow my lead it's not it's really really simple it just takes a little bit more time and it took us about 10 minutes i think for this for us to kill golgoroth but yeah i got my red death on um i absolutely love the red death for raids um i know a lot of people actually don't use red death and i don't see i mean i don't know i just love fucking red death it heals after each kill it is absolutely amazing it's playing it safe it's very very handy weapon Plus I got my Irene and my Quillum's Terminus on, so I don't really need an exotic in the secondary or heavy slots. Right here, a blit got the gaze. I went down, got my weapons light, doing massive damage with the Irene. I got my clown cartridge, I got an extra shot in there. Right there, unstable light. It actually started at like eight eight or seven seconds. I got the hell out of there. Right there, that was the perfect example. Now you guys see what that looks like. I, it shows up on the left of your screen. Once you see it, always pay attention to it, guys. Always pay attention. Once you see it, get out of there. Jump up and stay away from all your teammates. You do not want to be, be near any teammates or you're going to fuck the whole thing up. Anyway, guys, Taken haven't... Oh, yeah, Taken did spawn. Taken started spawning, so that means we could literally do this right away to him. We can catch uh, Golgoroth's gaze like as quick as we can because it's taken now taken are going to keep spawning but with the thrall and acolyte they eventually do stop spawning so but with the taken they're going to keep spawning regardless so we're going to just catch the gaze immediately and we're going to just do quick rounds here quick rotations on golgoroth so right there i told all my team to get out ocean i think had the unstable he got out first and right there we had another person die uh, yeah, but this this method does work even when people are down guys You don't need a full fire team for this method. That's what is great We got him down to a pretty low health at the moment. So we're gonna keep going with it We're not gonna stop just because a couple people are down. We still got four. That's plenty We only need one person for aggro and three down in the pit and maybe one person worrying about taken Now we're gonna start another rotation here. We're ready to go um, my buddy Ablit got the gaze, so I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna grab weapons of light. And you notice how me and Ablit are always on different sides. That is because that is for a reason. And here, I am using Sun Singer, and I got solar grenades, and I got flame shield. Very good if you're rocking a warlock for this part. Solar grenades are great. You throw them down in the middle while the Taken are there, and they won't come near your fire team. Anyway, guys, me and Ablit are on different sides because. Golgoroth is either going to face one side or the other, and whatever side he's not facing is going to be the side that is going to be the person that takes the gaze, if that makes any sense. I don't know. I'm not the greatest at explaining things, guys, but I'm trying. I'm trying for you guys. Anyway, you can see I threw a solar grenade down the pit for them, try to help them out a little bit. I got taken up here. I'm trying to worry about them. I'm trying to worry about the, the Axian darts he's shooting at me. I'm calling out the time. We got unstable light down there. They got out. So we got two people doing damage right now. And Colgroth is so low on health right now. So low. But we are going to finish this. We are determined. We are motivated. We are not going to give up. We still got four people alive. And we got plenty of time. I think Enrage does start coming. I think Enrage is near very shortly. But that did not freak us out. We had plenty of time. I think you have another minute or two once it says Enrage is near. Anyway guys, I caught the gaze. I'm shooting the Axian darts again and Golgoroth went down immediately. And that's really it guys. If you have six people up that whole time, you're it's gonna be a breeze. It's gonna go even quicker and yeah, it's really, really not that bad. Anyway guys, I hope I helped you guys out. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the video and sub for the support. I'd highly appreciate it.